Welcome, we welcome you to our new program, Living a Supernatural Life with God. This is Prophetess Sylvia Sanford. And every, every Wednesday at the same time, we are here talking about supernatural experiences that we have experienced in the body of Christ, whether there have been angelical visitations, whether there have been visitations with the Lord Jesus Christ or the Father, um, or any uh, supernatural experiences, um, almost like when you um, have had people that have uh, been close to death, and those type of experiences. Also, in, we want to go ahead and help you learn how to walk daily in the supernatural. You know, it all, it's all about the relationship that we have with the Lord. It's all about intimacy. And that is what it is my goal that in this program, Living a Supernatural Life with God, you'll be able to learn and understand more of the supernatural, a life of miracles, a life of, of, uh, um, of expect living like every day expectant of the things that God is going to do in your life. As you may know, my book is finally going to be here on June 8th, Living a Supernatural Life with God. You're going to be seeing the uh, picture of the book cover. I want to encourage you to order your book, Living a Supernatural Life with God. As you see the cover on the screen, I want you to know that that is my first visitation to heaven. And yes, that's everything that I saw in heaven. And one of these days, I'm going to have an opportunity to share with you some of my heavenly visitations, my visitations to heaven, visitations that I've had with Jesus myself, appearances that um, he has had with me and how he's given me assignments, hearing the actual voice of God and just being able to see major breakthroughs as I've moved in his voice. You're probably asking yourself how we can get the book. You can call the number you see on the screen and order the book and you can leave your name and number and we will get back to you. As uh, soon it's gonna be in eBooks and you'll be able to download the book. You could also follow us on Facebook under Sylvia Guerrero Sanford. You could also subscribe in our YouTube channel where you'll be able to see many of our programs that are bilingual. And it is my heart to be able to equip the body of Jesus Christ. I also want to extend a great invitation. June 10th and June 11, I will be ministering together with Dr. Michelle Corral and Dr. Lillian Ong, Prophetess Jeannie Richardson and Joyce Peters from Dubai. All of us together at the M3 Live in Anaheim you can call the number you see right there on the screen and you can buy your ticket. You do not want to miss it. Friday night, we open the doors at 6 p.m. until 10.30 in the evening. And Saturday, it's going to be an all-day event. And uh, we open doors at 8.30 in the morning. Yes, men are welcome to come. You don't want to miss it. It's so exciting what is taking place right now. And the name of the conference is Women of Influence, Women of Kingdom. We want to be able to be women that can influence this nation. And this afternoon, I have a very special guest. You probably know who he is. You've seen him in some of the other programs here at the Cross TV. But especially for me, he's a special pastor. I've had the privilege of being in his church. Um, and his uh, worship team will be also participating in our women's conference, Women of Influence, Kingdom Women, in, on, at the M3 Live in Anaheim. And I want to welcome Pastor Ramon Arroyo from the Supernatural Church of Brawley. Yes, yes. Welcome and thank you so much mm, for accepting Sylvia. this invitation. Thank you for inviting us, Sylvia. We're happy to be here with you today. And we're happy to be with every single one of you that are watching us through this television program. We bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And, and we, today we have a message of, of the supernatural. We have a message of hope. We have a message of faith. And we just want you to know that all things are possible with God. Hallelujah. Yes. Where there's hope, there is faith. Yes. And where there is faith, miracles take place. Yes. God is still the same God 
The same God that did miracles yesterday is still doing miracles today. Yes, he is. And it is my heart that you will know Jesus in a different way, mm -hmm. in a very intimate way. Jesus, the same one that died in the cross for us, who gave his blood for the salvation of our sins, that we would be whole. He wants you to live a whole life full of expectations. And when I think of the supernatural, mm -hmm. I couldn't think of anyone <laughs> better than you, Pastor Ramon. <laughs> Thank you. Thank I you. have been in your church, and yes. I would love you to share with some of the people that are watching us yes. today. I think it's going to bring a lot of faith, mm -hmm. a lot of uh, uh, growth in learning. Your church is a small church. Yes. And what I call in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of an agricultural yes. city. Yes. It's a very small city, mm -hmm. and yet there is revival taking yes. place. Yes. And I would like us uh, to all hear, those that are watching by TV, and that we would know how did it all start? How is it that today every prophet from every area, from every nation, every part of the United States is coming to your church, mm -hmm. and why? has God put his eyes in Brawley. <laughs> Go ahead and share, Pastor Ramon. Uh, Sister Sylvia, we are in the Imperial Valley, which is in the southern part of California by the Mexican border. The city is called Brawley, and it's 23,000 inhabitants in that city, and we're right there in the middle of that city. My church is approximately about 100 people membership, but here's what um, I want to share, is that I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an ordinary person, pastor, ordinary Christian. I love the Lord with all my heart. I've been saved for 41 years, and I followed the teachings of the Bible. I've been as obedient as I can. God set me free in 1975 of drug addiction. I was a drug addict. I was a gang member. I was a sinful person, and I had an encounter with Jesus, a face-to-face -face encounter that changed and transformed my life. For the, for the next 37 years, I served the Lord the best that I could. I started pastoring. I've been pastoring for 20 years. And, and it's been wonderful, glorious, marvelous. Except there's always been one problem, Sister Sylvia. Uh, we've always been financially poor. Always, always. And it's a typical situation in, in, in the Hispanic churches uh, that we're always a day late and a dollar short. It's a saying that, that we say. <laughs> But uh, on four years ago, I, uh, I, I was speaking to the Lord about my problem, asking him why I was uh, lacking in finances for my, my household, for my ministry, and why my people in my congregation was so poor. What, what, what are we doing wrong? Because we, we, we've tried to obey. Every, we're tithers. We're givers. We've been faithful in church as far as we knew. And, uh, and the Lord answered me. And the Lord answered me and said, yes, you've been faithful. Yes, you've been a tither. But he, you've been doing it the wrong way, he told me. I said, I said Lord, well, explain to me what is the right way. You, you, you need to do it the Jewish way. You need to give the Jewish way. And, and I didn't know anything about the Jewish way. So I started researching. I started studying. And the Lord took me to Malachi chapter 3. He took me to the portion 8, 9, and 10 where it says that, uh, uh, will a man rob God? And then it, it says, uh, return unto me. And how shall we return? He said, in tithes and offerings, he said. And, and I began to research that. And he said, if you'll do that, I'll open the windows of heaven over your head. And I'll pour out more than enough blessing. And, you know, we've always heard those scriptures uh, in 37 years. We've all, I've used them myself. Yeah. And we've always said, bring the tithe and God will open the, the windows of heaven. He'll pour out. Well, it never happened to me. It never happened. I never saw. I never, I didn't. And that's why I was, I asked the Lord about that. Well, what happened was that God explained to me. He says, yes, the tithe, but the offering is not the kind of offering that you have in mind. What I'm talking about is first fruit offerings. And I'm talking about first fruit offerings, and I'm talking about the offering to the poor, giving to the poor. So those wow. three areas, those three kind of gifts, those three, those are what God began to teach me. And, wow. and uh, those yes. are the Jewish way of, of giving. And I, and I want to interrupt you. I, wanted, yes. I want all of, us, uh, all of the ones that are watching us today that 
that I learned that also three years ago. Oh, great. And when I started giving the first fruits, mm -hmm. then there was a change in the ministry finances. Exactly. And giving in the seasons that God has called us to give. Go yes, ahead, Pastor. Yes, yes. Well, that, that's the next thing he told me. He said, now that you've understood what, what you have to give, now understand that I have, a, I have three seasons. I have appointed times. Exactly. And he explained them to me. And, and he says, if you will bring the first fruits on these appointed times, the windows of heaven will open over your head, over your family, and over your ministry. The three appointed times are in Leviticus chapter 23. And, and it starts in verse 1. It is the Passover, Pentecost, and the Feast of Hallelujah. Tabernacles. Hallelujah. Yes. And I am so glad that some of the people that are watching us, you know, the first thing that they... They, they would tell you, well, we're not Jewish. Yes. yes. That's the first thing they say. All right. We're not Jewish. Mm -hmm. So why should we, why should we um, do what they do? Because we're not. Very simple. Because the Bible says in Leviticus 23, they are God's appointed times. They're not Jewish appointed times. They're God's appointed times. God's time. appointed times. And I'm going to tell you, this is why the sons of Isaac are mm. knew the times and seasons, seasons, men and women of God, mm -hmm. and learning when to sow. Yes. You know, imagine if you sow in the winter where there's ice mm. on the ground. <laughs> I don't think we're going to see anything. There's Nothing. an appointed time to sow there's on the ground, exactly. to plant the seed. And the things in the natural are the things in the spiritual. Yes. All together, all parallel. Together, all together. And so we, we uh, uh, learned these things from God. God taught us. And so we understood that what God was doing was aligning us with heaven. That's all mm -hmm. he did. And so, and so we understood and, and we started. On Passover was the first one. And then Pentecost. And by the way, in, uh, in 18 days, Pentecost is going to come around again. Yes. Okay. So we, we're going to sow our first And we're offering. going to see yes. a suddenly, mm -hmm. just like it happened in Pentecost, mm -hmm. a sudden open doors. Yes. You know, a sudden blessing. And how many of you that are watching us today need this type mm -hmm. of blessings? Exactly. And I want you to write down again the scripture mm -hmm. on Leviticus. Leviticus chapter 23. In Leviticus chapter 23. Starting in verse 1. Verse 1. And that you will see that it's got appointed times and seasons. Yes. So and then what happens? So what happened was that we began to give our first fruits in Passover and Pentecost. But then on the, fir, uh, the Feast of Tabernacles, on the Ooh, day yes. of Yom Kippur, Four. on that day, something happened that had never happened before. Miracle money started appearing in our congregation. Hallelujah. And how did it appear? People began to uh, uh, um, um, pull out money that they that that they didn't have in their purses or in their pockets, but they, God put supernatural money in their wallets, in their purses, in their pockets, and they began to testify. They began to testify. Also, the sick began to get healed. Hallelujah! Uh, there was healing, and there was miracle money. Now we've never seen anything like that. We had never even heard of miracle money anything like that but we knew it was a direct result of the first fruits giving it was a direct result of giving the way god wanted us to give and so now we've had over 200 testimonies of miracle money we've had over 200 testimonies since then of healing and miracle money uh, um, um, uh, well, that was the first manifestation but it manifests itself in seven ways it started in our church one the money appeared supernaturally in, in purses and pockets and wallets. Another, debts were canceled supernaturally. Cancellation of debt, $10,000, $5,000. Um, I mean, from different uh, uh, organizations, they would send letters to our people. Your debt is canceled. The college debt is canceled. I have was, to mm -hmm. tell you something, yes. and I'm sorry for interrupting you. Go ahead. There is a special anointing for debt cancellation today. Yes, praise the Lord. You know, I'm telling you one thing. Yesterday, one of my people in my ministry, mm -hmm. I, he had given a $1,000 offering mm -hmm. in my ministry. Mm -hmm. And I had prophesied. He said, I'm going to do something. 
I am going to make a covenant with God and you, Prophet to Sylvia. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give $1,000 because I have an appointment with the IRS. I owe them $42,000. Mm -hmm. And I want you to pray <laughs> that they will negotiate with me. So I said to him, I am not going to pray about that. I said, I'm going to pray that your debts will be canceled. Awesome. And I pray for this man. This man sent me a seed of $1,000. Praise God. Yesterday, he calls me in tears crying that the person from the IRS in the appointment, there was nothing in the computer. They told them to go home because there was absolutely a zero balance on yes. the account. Praise the Lord. I want you... Yes to call yes. my number mm -hmm. because I am going to pray over you. Yes. I want to pray that same prayer mm -hmm. that I did with these people in my ministry mm -hmm. and call the number because we're going to be praying for you at 951-427-1604. I want you to call 951-427-1604. 04, mm -hmm. and I'm going to impart in your life the debt cancellation yes. and exactly that miracle yes. money that we're talking about. Yes. Continue. Yes. yes. Uh, another way that God uh, revealed to us the miracle money blessing, checks begin to come in the mail. Unexpected sources of Hallelujah. finances begin to come. Another way that it manifests, people walk up to you that they know you or don't know you. And they don't know, I don't know why I'm going to do this, but I feel I should give you this money. They'll give you money on Amen. the street. They'll give you money in stores. Another way, you go, to, you, you go to work and your boss, your foreman will say, I don't know why, but I, I'm going to give you a promotion. And they give you promotion. They give you an increase of salary. Another way that, that we've seen it is that, uh, that you go to your, your ATM account and, and you know you only have $20, $50. It shows $500. Supernatural money. You know, I want you to know that this pastor's heart, mm -hmm. I believe, has really touched the heart of the Lord. And when obedience, sacrifice, and uh, touches the heart of God, I see that there's a sudden move of God that takes place. Mm -hmm. And being in his church, I was able to be a witness about what God is doing. Mm -hmm. People of God in that church there is miracles. The present, there is an open portal yes. in this yes, church. And every prophet wants to go there to receive the blessing. And where there's a hundred people on the congregation, I have received the largest single offering mm -hmm. in that church. Because as we travel the nations, you know, many pastors, they gave us offerings and they're great offerings but where there's a hundred less than a hundred people yes. that day yes and you were saying your people were poor but now they are prosperous yes. now they are givers god has called you to be the head and mm. not the tail mm. supernatural living a supernatural life with god is the life that every Christian should live. Yes. It is not only for you or for your church, but God is seeking the head to teach the sheep yes. that we must teach you how to walk mm -hmm. a life in the supernatural, of supernatural provision. Uh, you know, it is amazing because the Lord tells us that if we um, abide in him, and we do his commandments. Mm -hmm. He will live in us. And do you think that by him not being in us, we will not be able to see him supplying according to his riches in glory mm -hmm. and more and abundantly? I want you to call and order my book, mm -hmm. Living a Supernatural Life with God. And you're going to see right now the uh, book cover. And, you know, I thank uh, uh, Apostle and Pastor... Um, Ramona Arroyo, because finally they're going to be able to see the book in their hands, living a supernatural life with God. This book is going to increase your faith. It is 16 chapters of miracles that God has done, and it doesn't end there. There will be volume two and three, because it is what eye has not seen, what ear has not heard, and what has not touched the heart of man. It's what God has for those that love him. And 
Pastor um, Ramon, yes. there are many people today that are watching us. Yes. And we want to be able to pray for them. That's right. Because today I've seen amazing things, mm -hmm. amazing power of God. We just had this uh, uh, Global School of the Prophets. That's right, that's right. And what is happening now, you have the most amazing worship team also. Yes. That's why I'm having his <laughs> worship team in my conference. You do not want to miss our conference. June 10th, June 11th, call and get your tickets. Call that number. The tickets are $69 per person, okay? And I'm going to give you again the number to call. It's 951 427 1604. Women of Influence, Kingdom Women, a conference that you do not want to miss. And we're going to have the Brawley yes. Worship yes. Team. They are music of revival. Yes, yes. Tell us about that. <laughs> we, uh, uh, first of all, everything I'm saying is for the glory of God. Mm -hmm. we, are, we are nobody special. We're no, nothing, you know. But God. It, uh, has, has, has opened the windows of heaven over us. He's poured out his spirit. He's poured out his blessing. It's all about Jesus. It's all about Jesus. And we, in turn, are grateful. We're thankful. And we, we are, our worship team has learned to worship in that, mm. in, that, in that essence or in that atmosphere of thankfulness and gratitude. Yesterday, I had two visitors from a uh, my my denomination. They were their supervisors, and and they spoke to me. I never had met them before. I arrived of five minutes after they did. But they, they told me as soon as we walked in, we sensed the presence of God in this place. Let's give you an opportunity mm -hmm. to live a life where the presence of God mm -hmm. is manifested, is tangible. That when people walk into your home, yes. they can say, yes. oh, my God, there's something special. There's a peace. Mm -hmm. And that is because Jesus mm -hmm. is in your home. Yes. And we want to invite you mm -hmm. that if you don't know Jesus mm -hmm. and you, don't, you, you, you hear us talking about this kind of life that is so different where we don't live in lack, where we're living in, in, in a in in fullness of the love of Jesus, which causes everything else to flow in fullness. I wanted you to have an opportunity to accept Jesus in your heart so that he mm -hmm. could be your king. And there where you are, we're going to do the prayer. Yes. Pastor, can yes. you give him a, um, the invitation? Yes, There's, there are two main reasons why Jesus came to earth. He died on the cross, rose from the dead. Two main reasons is to give us life. Two types of life, though. One is eternal life. That's salvation. That's forgiveness of our sins. That's, that's uh, uh, writing our names in the book of life. Hallelujah. That's the first one. The most important is yes. eternal life. But then there's another life that he also came to give us. It's called, he said with his own words, abundant life. Hallelujah. Two types of life. That abundant life is so that we can live prosperous on the earth while we're waiting to go to heaven. We can live victorious. We can live an overcoming life. We can, we can, we can live a blessed life as believers. And those two types of lives are being offered to you, my friend, my, 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 my viewer right now. Those two types of life are being offered to you. If you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior, receive eternal life today. Or if you know Jesus already, but you, you're, you're not walking with him the way you should, the Lord wants to give you abundant life Hallelujah. today. And if you will just open your heart and receive eternal life and receive abundant life, you will see a supernatural manifestation Hallelujah. in your life starting today. And we just want to invite you to say this quick prayer yes. with us, Lord. Yes. I come before you. Yes. I repent of all my sins. Wash me with the blood of Jesus. Yes. Write my name in the book of life. Yes. I accept you as my Savior. Yes. Come and live with me. Transform my heart and my mind. Holy Spirit, I invite you to be part of me, yes. of my life. Yes. And let you be my guide, my yes. counselor, my teacher yes. in Jesus' name. Yes. And if you just said this prayer yes. today, you're a new person today. Yes. If you don't have a church, we invite you 
to find a church, yes. a good church, yes. where the presence of the Holy Spirit moves. Yes. You don't want to go to a dead church. No. You don't want to go to a church where there's legalism. Mm -hmm. You want to go to a church that Jesus is there. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And I want to again invite you mm -hmm. to follow me in YouTube. I would like you to uh, see many of the programs that we have on the YouTube yeah. channel under Sylvia Guerrero Sanford or Sylvia Sanford. I want to also invite you to follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, under Prophetess Sylvia Sanford or Sylvia Sanford Ministries. I have three pages and Sylvia Guerrero Sanford. I want you to follow us so that you can see all the different events that we're doing because we do this for you, people mm -hmm. of God. So we bless you and I invite you to follow us again next Wednesday at 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. Until then, blessings. Shalom.